My name's Creek Stewart. I'm a wilderness survival instructor, television host, entrepreneur, husband, and father. Each day, I get the opportunity to use my passion for survival and disaster preparedness to help people. Every second in my business is an adventure, and even I can't predict what's going to happen next. You're watching Behind the Scenes at Creek Inc. My name's Creek Stewart. I'm a wilderness survival instructor. And I'm Sarah Stewart, Creek's wife. Yeah, but she, you are not just my wife. Sarah is the rock star behind the scenes at Creek Inc. All of the dirty and rough stuff that I do, she makes pretty. look pretty <laughs> because she's a graphic designer and is in charge of all the look and feel of what comes out of Creek Inc. That's why he married me. So you think we can do this without crying? No. I don't know if we can either. You want to give it a shot? We'll try. <laughs> so almost three years ago, uh, we had a baby girl. Her name was Primrose Eve. And about four hours after she was born, she passed away uh, with a genetic disorder called trisomy 18. And as you can imagine, <laughs> Man, it's been three years. And whenever I talk about it, I still get it. And as you can imagine, it was a devastating tragedy for our family. But it's not the first hard thing nope. we've had to deal with in our marriage and in our relationship or in our life. And so we did what we have always done. We leaned in to our faith. In this instance, we leaned in hard <laughs> to our faith. And we prayed that God would help get us through it and help us see the silver lining in what was a really horrible situation. Now more than ever, I feel a reinvigorated purpose to use my God-given passions for survival and disaster preparedness to help people. We're gonna take our pain and turn it into our purpose. That's right. It's been a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work, but now we're putting on the finishing touches. It's looking really good. So the first thing I knew we needed to do in this business is rebrand it. Come up with a new logo and new look that represented the change and the shift that we're going through as a business and as a family. And that was really important. And we've landed on an awesome logo that we love. <laughs> it's called the Thunder Crow. And if I could sum up what the Thunder Crow stands for in one sentence, it would be this. Stepping out of fear and stepping into faith. Not only faith on a spiritual level, which is really important to us, especially now, but faith on other levels too. Faith in your gear, faith in your friends and in your family, but also faith in yourself, building self-confidence. It looks awesome. Well, I guess if the survival business doesn't work out, we can always wrap windows. <laughs> a backup plan. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. We oh just got in an entire skid of boxes. Are you serious? Like 15 of these. <laughs> Where are we gonna put all those? I don't know. All right. Our first big initiative since coming up with the new logo and the new look is to launch an entirely new selection of products. We've got outdoor gear, we have clothing, we have backpacks really high quality items that will weather the storm. The goal with these products is to come up behind our customers and support them in our mission, which is to help them be more comfortable in the outdoors, more confident in the outdoors, and really be ready for anything, anything. that life might throw their way. This in business is what you call inventory poor. <laughs> We've got all of our money wrapped up in inventory. This launch has got to go well. No pressure. 
So we've got a big launch coming up in just a couple of weeks. And as a part of that, we've got to get photos of these products. And not just photos, but really good Really photos. good ones. And so we leave tomorrow morning for a photo shoot in Kentucky. And our goal is to capture the best possible photos, the most epic photos that we can of all of these products so that it communicates how cool they are when people see them. And we're excited we have no kids. <laughs> no, that's a bonus. <laughs> I think we got it all. Let's pack all this stuff in the truck so that we're ready to go first thing in the morning. Sounds good. Exciting. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> Hey, River, Hi. how are you? And we are super excited to drop off the kids. Sarah and I have not had alone time in a long time and we're excited about this photo shoot. So we're gonna drop these kids off and get this thing done. Hey guys, I'm gonna grab the bags and unload. You guys just chit chat and uh, we'll be out of here in just a minute, okay? Okay, sounds good. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, Sarah, before you guys leave, we need some help picking up walnuts. The deadline is Friday and and our truck is only half full. Can you all stay and, and help pick up walnuts for a few minutes? Or yes. longer no, we than can that? Do it. We can you do sure? It. Yeah. Oh, thank we'll you. Do it. Anything for you. I know we wanted to get out of here, but Grandma came up to me and she really needs these walnuts harvested before we leave. And I can't say no to Grandma. So we have to stay a little bit longer than we thought. Yeah, so we were super excited just to drop the kids off, but. Now we got to pick up walnuts and it's something we've done for a very long time. We pick up walnuts, we fill the truck and we take them and sell them to the Amish. It'll be fun for the kids. I call them money balls. It's like picking up, <laughs> it's like picking up pennies and nickels off the ground for free. And it's a good lesson for the kids and it's good exercise. It's a beautiful day. Let's get going. So there's two ways to pick up walnuts. You can walk around and pick them up by hand, or you can hitch up the walnut picker-upper to the mower, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This thing can pick up four five-gallon buckets of walnuts every 15 minutes, and today is the perfect day to teach River how to collect money balls. Here we go. We're like robbing a bank vault here. Look at all this, this is gonna be a big bag of money. So we've picked up a lot of walnuts already. The back of the truck is about halfway full, but we've got a long way to go. It's all hands on deck. We've got grandma, grandpa, River, sissy, Sarah, and myself. We gotta fill this truck up so that mama and I can get on the road. Not all bags right here. It's all bags of walnuts. Bags Look at how many walnuts that is. Thousands of walnuts. But we've got, we're only about half full. We need to keep going. <sighs> Five hundred. No, five, five thousand. Five thousand pounds, and three hours later, <laughs> we finally collected enough walnuts to fill the truck. And yellow hands. And yellow hands for the photo shoot. So we're officially ready to be on the road. And now I'm super sweaty. I know. Let's hurry and get out of here <laughs> before Mom thinks of another project. Hurry. Let's go. Where are you taking me? Well, to get the good photos, you got to go to the good places. So I'm taking you to a couple of spots that I scouted a long, long time ago. I couldn't be more excited to finally be on the road headed to do this photo shoot with Sarah. I'm taking her to one of my favorite places in the whole world, and that's the Red River Gorge in Kentucky. It is a world-class destination for all kinds of cool things like climbing and hiking and camping. Hey, listen, as soon as we break off trail here, we have to start being really careful because this is perfect copperhead weather. The weather's warmed up today. This area is notorious for copperheads. And so we got to be. Okay, so not only am I nervous about dropping 500 feet to my death, but now he tells me to watch for venomous snakes. And I am freaking out because I'm just not meant for this. Watch out, copperhead. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Oh I'm just gosh. kidding. It's just a root. All these roots look like snakes. You're going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> Even though I was joking a little bit with Sarah about seeing a copperhead, venomous snakes are no joke here at the Red River Gorge. The 
two to be on the lookout for are the northern copperhead and the timber rattlesnake. A bite from either one of those could send us to the hospital. And the last photo we need in this photo shoot is Sarah and I in the emergency room. Man, be careful. That is like a 400 foot drop. That makes my knees shake. Just look at <laughs> Wait, how about down there? Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. Let's go. It's kind of bouncing on your butt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this view. Wow. So beautiful. Now, this is a photo backdrop right here. It's definitely not going to work for all the photos because like the canoe, right. we have to build a fire, we can't build a fire here. And just imagine like one of the new packs on, you With know, that in the background. overlooking these incredible rock formations. I mean, this is per this and is worth the colors. The and the colors. It's fall. Yes. This is worth the hike right here. You know, photo or not, this was worth. This was worth it. This was worth the trip. Just this right here. So now we're under a serious time crunch because we've had an awesome afternoon hiking and taking some personal photos, but we do not have a location for the photo shoots that starts bright and early in the morning. And that makes me nervous because time is money. As soon as tomorrow morning hits, we've got the photographer on site and we got to make this thing happen so the sun is about 10 minutes from going down we still have a hike to get out of this holler and if we don't get out of here before the night hits we're going to be the next story on one of my shows so um, we're going to take our safety over nabbing a location for the photo shoot and get out of here you know by the time we get to the rental property it's going to be pitch black yeah, I know. Hey, good morning. I'm still tired. <laughs> we got a scout. We don't have a photo location I know, yet. but we have no kids. <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> we got to get up. We got to go find somewhere to shoot these photos before Anthony gets here. Okay, let's do it. Hey, I think I found a solution for our location. Really? What? Yeah. Come out here. Look at this. It's got water. It's got the trees. It's oh, got a view. yeah. We didn't see any of this last no. night. Has a campsite. We showed up at this rental house at dark last night, so we didn't see any of the outside. And it's perfect for so many of the photos we need to take. So I think we've got this case closed as far as the photo shoot location. We're gonna hit a couple of shots at the vistas that we saw yesterday, and we're gonna shoot most of our photography right here in the backyard of the rental property. This is an awesome score, and I feel so much better about the photo shoot right now. Well, let's finish getting our stuff together. Anthony's gonna be here any minute, and we'll see what he thinks about it. Anthony Gay, man, good to see you. Yeah, you too, man. So Hi. glad you just showed up. Good, good. I'm a commercial product photographer. Um, I've worked with Creek for a few years now. Um, so my passion is shooting uh, survival and bushcraft type of products. And we are in a absolutely beautiful place. This is one of my favorite places uh, here in Kentucky. So I'm super excited to be here today shooting these products. This one, I could honestly, I could see that working well with water, but that's also it's kind of a hiking style bag too. So right. like, we could go either way on that. I think this definitely needs Vista shots, I think. So we've got, I think 25 products up there in the house right now. I mean, there's totes of stuff everywhere. The big shots that we're, we're gonna have to knock out are gonna be the tarp, backpacks, uh, kind of more of those high ticket items. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure to go ahead and get those done. Right, let's load up and I'll take you to those Vistas yeah. and we'll just see what we can knock out. Perfect. Surely we can get, you know, an epic pack photo here. You oh know? yeah, no doubt. I like it. I'm gonna try one from the side. Get a side angle of your axes and whatnot. Okay. Okay. We'll see what you think. Yeah. 
So we're out here on location and we've just started shooting photos of the backpack. And Anthony shot a couple of photos, but the light is so bright. We're in the middle of the day and it is just full sun today. And as I look at the photos, it's just a little too bright for what I'm thinking. I don't know how to communicate to Anthony like what is in my mind, but I'm really hoping he can just read my mind today. Okay, so I don't think that we can do it here. Like I'd love to, I love the idea of the Vista, but let's walk up here a little ways. Let me try something and let's see how it goes. So yeah, what Creek is wanting uh, right now is just not gonna be possible out here. Um, you can't get a real moody look uh, with full sun like this with zero clouds in the sky. And I mean, we've got no tree cover either. So I do have an idea though. You know what, you head up that way. I'm gonna pan around right here okay. and shoot from this angle. So Anthony puts me back in the woods out of full sun and he takes a picture and I look at it on his camera and it is exactly what I wanted. He literally read my mind. It's the perfect picture of this backpack. And so now we've got the look down. It's just a matter of going through the products and trying to get this done before the sun sets. And I'm just looking at you thinking, you are really close to that edge. Uh, yeah, but it'll get the shot. Dude, I, that is, we're good. That is seriously, be, be careful, man. All right, let me get my feet planted real good. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh we're <my> good. <laughs> Maybe we should have someone grab a hold of him, tie you to a tree. As I'm watching Anthony take these photos, I'm realizing that he's getting caught up in taking the photos and getting closer and closer to a 400 foot cliff right behind him. And as important as these photos are to get today, they're not worth losing our number one photographer. So we need to get these shots and get Anthony away from that cliff as soon as possible. Looks great. Thanks, man. Yeah, we've got good light back this way. I mean, it's bright this way, but it's given this enough light. And then we're just using the shadows here through the woods. So the woods, it seems to be kind of our friend today. Everything is looking really good. I'm very happy. But one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that over 40% of the people on my email list and my audience is women. And so I'm about to put my wife, Sarah, on the spot. She doesn't know it yet, but she's about to be Creek Stewart's next top model. Hey, Sarah, come in here real quick. Hey, do you bring your sunglasses too. Why? Because we need a model for the sunglasses. <laughs> And I thought I you'd like be perfect. Being in front of the camera. You know, so many women place orders for Creek Stewart stuff. And I thought, you know, what better for a woman to relate to than a woman model? So you're you're it. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> now look happy. When Creek told me to come and be part of the photo shoot, I just thought I was gonna be behind the camera. And then I realized he wanted me in front of the camera, which was a shock, but I get it, I understand. I need to represent all the women out there. <laughs> That's right. And you look great. Thanks. You look, you rock those sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can you bounce this? Uh, we're we're going to use this gold side. Okay. Can you bounce that for me? I don't, just... know. I don't know. You're going to tell me how. All right. <laughs> give it a go. I uh, try to get it up on her face a little bit. What? Gonna... Are you talking about the, like the light, the sunlight from yeah. this? Here. Right about like that. It's easiest to be in the All right. Got it. Hey. <laughs> Actually here. Yeah, now this is how it's supposed to be right there here. There it goes. Okay. Get the real diva in front of the camera. This is this is how it actually is, the diva. Uh-huh. Now work those sunglasses. <laughs> do you need misted? I do. Do you need, do you need a certain color of M&M? Green. <laughs> How's my lighting? Uh, yeah, it could be a little bit better here. Right about there. Just hold it as steady as you can. All right. Okay, maybe I have a sick sense of humor, but I'm really enjoying watching Sarah squirm in front of the camera a little bit. Now she knows how I feel because it's always just a little bit uncomfortable. But she's doing a fantastic job, and I can't wait to see how these photos come out. You do look there good. There we go. Look at you, just all bronzed up. All right, let's see what you think. You know what I think. I think we're gonna need to order more sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. You look hot. Yeah, absolutely. And look at you. We got some awesome photos. You bossed it out like a boss lady. 
I think my job is done here. This photo shoot's just going to be you from now on. No, 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 no. That's how we're really <laughs> going to sell stuff. Get me out of the camera and put you in front of it. No, that's not me. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Dude, that's the money shot right there. <laughs> that's why you hire the expert right in there, man. That's why you bring in the big guns. We have burnt the wick at both ends today, but the good news is that we've got all of the photos for all of the products. Anthony brought his A game, he delivered, and that's exactly why I hired him and brought him in this week. So the next step is to wait for him to do his editing and filtering magic, which I'm super, super excited to see. As soon as we get the finished photos, we load them onto the website and go live. Creek, come here. Are they here? Yeah, we got them. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Yeah. Oh, that one's great. That's that one, remember, overlooking that vista with both of us? That looks great. Oh, there's so many of them. The tarp, those night shots, man, know, were that was really cool. cool. Kid, you want to see my favorite? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. These photos are amazing. Anthony <laughs> nailed it. And that's why we hired him. I know. They turned out way better than we could have done ourselves. We have tried in the past to do our own photography, but it's so worth the money to bring in someone who knows exactly what they're doing so that we can focus on what we do and he can focus on what he does. And they're good. They're good. <laughs> well, it's all drafted. We just got to hit that blue button that says send now. But before that, I just want to pray over this email. I just want to pray over this launch and like over our customers really quick. Dear God, we first appreciate the opportunity to do what we love for a living by creating these products and working in the outdoors and being able to do it together as a family. God, I pray over each and every customer right now that's going to be receiving this email, Father, that you would keep them safe outside, keep them safe in the woods, that you would help these products and whatever services we create to build into their lives so that they can become more confident and capable in the outdoors and connect with themselves, connect with each other, and ultimately connect with you. God, we know this business is not about products and it's about people. And so we pray for our customers right now as we send this email. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. I guess we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Hitting that send button is where the rubber meets the road and I am here to tell you that it is a daunting thing to do. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> this email is about to go out to tens of thousands of our past and current customers and there's so many things going through my mind right now. Did I spell everything right? Are all the links working? Are they gonna like the products? How is this launch going to go? And we don't know until we hit that send button and get it into the inbox of tens of thousands of people. I'm ready. Good job. High five. Moment of truth, baby. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Behind the Scenes at Creek Inc. A little bit in behind our family and our business. <laughs> <laughs>